welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is How Fast. Derek and I decided to stop by and have a pint at Sons of Kent here in Chatham. It's a local craft brewery, delicious beer if you're interested. Yeah, great food too. If you guys want to stop by for you know breakfast or lunch, uh, it's a great local place to come. So uh, we're actually going to go and head out and see if we can find that uh, chassis right now. So come along for the ride. See you soon. All right, guys, uh, so we thought we drove by it, but apparently not. We found the car. Definitely some valve mice yeah. in that one. Definitely valve mice in there. <laughs> so uh, we're going to get out and go take a look at it. I think we're gonna have to pass on this one, guys. Yep. But you see what we're looking for. Yeah, something original. Uh, you know, something you're not gonna expect a six liter LQ4, 750 horse turbo motor in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this one was a bust. We'll catch up with you soon. Hey, guys, a couple days later, uh, back in Justin's garage freezing cold out here again this weather can't make up its mind um, so the car was a bust unfortunately uh, we got a couple things in the works though so stay tuned for that um, today we're going to be taking another look at the engine see what else we can strip off what other kind of goodies we can come across um, hopefully get it turned over get the oil pan off today and uh, see what the bottom end looks like Oh, 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 oh,
Did you catch that? Oh! Did anybody else just see that? So now you're gonna have to fish that out, I guess, eh? Should I get you a rod or maybe some, what are we gonna use for bait? <laughs> There it is. Yeah, yeah. Good job. <laughs> Here we go. I don't think we have to worry about that to be honest. I think you just have to worry about the regular wear and tear that's been, you know, neglected. That cam down there, she's she's worn, worn, yeah. worn, worn. But I mean, not not that we're using that cam or anything, but yeah. I think we'll be at a point where I think we could probably flip the engine over, and we'll probably have to make a new crutch for the. For the damping. Oh, yeah. Because it's probably going to be a different height now. Relatively close, though. Oh, we need it, though? I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely a lot lighter it's than... It's going to be a lot lighter, right? It's going to be a lot lighter than it was. We'll see. We'll flip it over. Yeah. Everyone... Th Derek's just pointed this out. We were just talking about how this this engine stands. It's it's a little weak, but, you know, when we put the engine on it, we, we had to stuff a, a crutch underneath... It. The dampener just because we were afraid it was going to collapse and um now that we've stripped everything off we're like oh i'm sure it's fine and, and it appears to be holding but yeah. when you think about how much stuff comes off one of these new engines i mean there's the block i mean you know it's got its innards and whatnot but okay i want you to look at this pile on the floor here this is all uh ecu and water pump over here is all the 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 intake and the starter and the the ignition and the cooling uh, like air conditioning and Look at the heads over there. There's a lot of stuff on these new engines, yeah. right? Like, holy cow. It's crazy, to, it's crazy to think that all that stuff from there is come, came off of here. Unbelievable. Yep. Okay, let's flip this thing over and take a look at what's underneath. Oh, cute, baby. Oh, get it out, get it out, it's okay. It's okay, don't worry. Okay guys, well that's gonna do it. Um, we've actually kind of hit a roadblock, we're sorry. I kind of wanted to show you guys the bottom end of the, the engine today, but unfortunately we've uh, we've hit a couple snags. Yeah, uh, trying to get the lifters out and uh, obviously haven't figured that out yet. So 
Justin's going to do homework on that, and when we originally bolted up the motor on the engine stand, um, didn't even realize that the two bolts here are right in the oil pan. So obviously we can't remove the oil pan until we can relocate those bolts, and we're not really sure how to do that yet. So uh, I'm going to take care of that tonight, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll get this figured out, come back in a day or two, and get this thing opened up for you. Yeah, guys. So, uh, like always, please like and subscribe and share. And uh, if uh, you you know push that notification bell, and you can get notified every time we upload. Um, and uh, we wanted to say we really appreciate uh, all your support over the last couple of days. All the yeah, videos you sure. guys, yeah, all the videos you guys have uh, watched, and all the views and all the comments from all of our our friends and family. We really appreciate it. So, thank you very much for all the support. Yeah, keep the comments coming, guys. Um, you know, if anybody has any suggestions, we're open for everything. Uh, see something we're doing or want to help us out, let us know. Yeah, and, and if you have any ideas for chassis or uh, um, different bodies or, or platforms that we, we might be interested in, please comment, like, and, and, and tell, us what, tell us what you think. Yep, yeah, we're open for everything. Uh, again, guys, let's uh, see how fast we can get this thing to go.